Hello everybody, I'm Joe Nigro at Terracotta World and today we'll be painting the flag of the municipality of Barcelona. Barcelona. We'll uh, look up how to pronounce that a little later in the show. Uh, right now we're going to talk about the colors. There's a blue, a yellow, white, and red. So uh, what we have here, whirling around, is we have a blue deco art, craft as acrylic, peacock blue. I thought that was pretty representative of the blue and the flag. So we have that one, we'll put that down here on our table, crafter's table. And then there's a red. So uh, in our studio we picked uh, a bright red uh, from deco art, a craft as acrylic. And this is a bright red, beautiful red. We had that whirling around in our pot. And then we have our deco art craft as acrylic bright yellow. Now what I did for you to today was I did a little script, right? And the script I had written by um, Chad GPT, my buddy. Um, all right, so we'll read you the script uh, for the YouTube video. Opening scene, Joe Nigro at his Terracotta World machine. This is my Terracotta World machine. I, I invented this. Um, Joe Nigro. Welcome back to Terracotta World. Today we're painting the beautiful flag of Barcelona, Puerto Rico. As we start this project, let's talk about the vibrant colors and rich history of the fascinating town. Close up of flag of Barcelona. All right. Follow the script. Put it sideways. There's a close up of the flag of Barcelona. 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 There's no O. It's Barcelona. All right. Go back to the script, which is in Mr. Chat GPT, which is there. All right, Joe Nairo, that's me. Barcelona's flag, flag is a rectangular adaptation of its former coat of arms. Um, what we're going to do as we're reading this is we're going to shake up some paint. Uh, and we're going to pour it in here. And I'm going to start to think that blue is like a dominant color here. So we'll go back to the flag. See, so yeah, I, I see this as a blue dominant. Um, so blue dominant. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to keep this space here white with a red stripe. This space here white with a red stripe. We'll do yellow red yellow red in the middle and they'll have a dominant and a dominant blue that's my vision ah, we got a terracotta world on every, all sides of me <laughs> all right back to mr chat gpt all right so let's see here the flag is divided into uh, the flag is divided by crosses of St. George. Oh, wait a minute. Barcelona's flag is a rectangular adaptation of its former coat of arms. It features elements inspired by the Catalan flag. The Catalan flag. Who knows what that is? Uh, the, um, the Catalan... Uh, as Barcelona was founded by Catalina or Catalan immigrants no kidding question asked question answered we'll put some red in there poured that liberally i mean we poured a lot for these little two ounce bottles the flag is divided uh, i guess some boat action back there oh no those aren't boats those are around those are little skadoos i'm afraid of the water the flag is divided by the cross of St. George, which represents their patron saint. Wow, a saint named 
George. St. George. We get our blue. Right. And then we have our yellow. The stripes reflect the Catalinian Sierra, symbolizing the deep cultural ties to Spain. The gold, I'm picking yellow, but it has gold. The gold and white in the flag replace the traditional gold and silver of the coat of arms, representing the sugarcane flowers, which were crucial to the town's agricultural economy. Barceloneta was in the sugarcane business. Isn't that cool? I never knew anybody, uh, any city that was in the sugarcane business. Uh, maybe that was for our favorite wine, Don Cupna wine. That's, um... All right, Joe starts painting the flag on the terracotta pot. All right. So, Joe starts painting flag on terracotta pot. All right, let's look at the flag. We just don't want to paint anything here. Oh, and I got to stand over here. Or I got to reposition my crafters table. For some reason, I have that right in my way. Sorry about that. Uh oh, what are we doing? Chat GPT gave me a script. All right, I got to stop painting, but I don't know what it looks like. All right. So we got dominant blue, so we're gonna probably do a blue on the bottom, a blue on the top rim. Uh, blue. Blue up here, blue up here. Anyways, let's, let's get after this yellow because we need three distinctive yellow stripes in the center. So let's start that. Um, so we get our terracotta world going. I try to do the smiley face control so it's looking at me uh, and then it has the pressure I need uh, that I enjoy, I should say, uh, in order to whirl these stripes. I'm going to use a very, um, a very soft nylon brush here and we're going to take the yellow paint, put it on our brush <clears throat> and we're going to think to ourselves, what did that flag look like? It had a yellow stripe, pretty much right there. Right? Let's see if we're getting a little uh, dominant, non-dominant side here. So we have to apply some pressure. So what I like to do on the first line, I like to carry it through dominant and non-dominant. Apply the pressure needed to get it through the other side. Another method, uh, seeing this one has a very dominant, dominant, and non-dominant side. Another method is to take your brush and you want to, as it's whirling, just do the long strokes on the side. And what that does is that carries you through the non-dominant side. It creates a a beautiful design too. You'll see that. So we have this beautiful yellow in the middle happening, which is beautiful. We love yellow. Yellow, yellow is one of our favorite colors. So let's just get that yellow nice and thick. In the middle, let's take all the paint off. Uh, now, as we're aware, we, we're painting on a primed terracotta pot. So we're building in additional layers of uh, acrylics and this will in be enhanced the lines. Everybody's uh, different. So is every terracotta pot different. All right, so let's see how we're doing there with our line. Uh, oh, that looks like a pretty severe line. Like it's not that bad, right? Uh, yet it's bigger than I expected, right? I expected that to be smaller uh, for some reason. Boop -a -doop, boop boop -a -doop, boop 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 boop. So let's just get another yellow line in there. We'll use the uh, we'll use the same brush. <clears throat> Start this whirl, and we'll get the smiley face facing me. That's that's my uh, pressure. That's the pressure I enjoy whirling with. On our smiley face speed control. 
You want to talk about something fun? Okay, so today we're here. Uh, oh, by the way, we're in Rincon, Puerto Rico. Uh, we are not in beautiful Barcelona. We have a mobile unit uh, that we're working on. We got the specifications for the least expensive quality uh, generator. Not a generator. I forget what they're called. Um, they're solar, solar electric uh, thingamajigs. Anyways, they'll generate this and we'll be able to take our our terracotta whirl from the office here at Rincon and we'll go and we'll visit some of these beautiful uh, municipalities um, and we'll whirl in the municipalities uh, as we're seeking to find our 78 master whirlers for Puerto Rico. If you're watching this video and you're from Puerto Rico, that's cool. Thanks for watching. If you come from Bar Barcelona, Etta, Barcelona, then if you'd like to become a master whirler, uh, go to my home page, grab my uh, email address, it's Joe at Terracotta Whirl, and say, hey man, uh, I think I, I'm, I, I'm looking for work, number one. Number two, uh, I have a family. You don't really need a family, but I like to take care of families. So whatever, like, if you want to be a master whirler, you have to have a lot of patience. Uh, bilingual would be helpful, not necessary. I could get a interpreter, or we could talk through Google Translate, right? All right, we have our yellow, and we're happy with it, all right? So... The yellow ended up being a little thicker than I thought. And there's a lot of white there. And the red goes in between the... Uh, goes in between the... I'm sorry. Here, here. Let me just fix something up here. You guys could watch the background, watch this world if you'd like. Fix my thing there. So the pelicans are they out today? If you look in the background, we're, we're down one uh, banister, so we have a different view. Uh, it's very hot out today, so we want it to be in the uh, shade. We don't want to overexert ourselves. Uh, every whirler in the world, we'll go with the same brush. No, we won't. I don't see why not. All right. So we got our yellow, yellow in there. And now we're going to go for our blue in Barcelona. Then maybe I'll do some reading from ChatGPT. All right. I started to paint my pot. Now me, Joe Nigro. This is my next line. Now as I paint these vibrant colors, let me delve into what makes Barcelona unique. Located in the northern region of Puerto Rico. Located in the northern area of Puerto Rico. Uh, Puerto Rico, Barcelona is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean, so it's that way giving it beautiful coastal landscapes. My goodness, we're gonna visit Barcelona. A little blue there for Barcelona. Um, the town is also known for its rich history and industry development. Scene transitions to images of Barcelona landmarks. Yeah, probably not gonna be cutting and pasting any videos. Um, that's not really what my thing is. You know, um, my thing is painting terracotta pots, popularizing the art, um, 
when I paint these pots, I'm thinking about the people of Puerto Rico, because we're gifting the art of terracotta world, and we're going to create an origin for the art of terracotta world, which is actually sensory Kalito art. Why do you call it sensory Kalito art? Well, you call it sensory Kalito art because when we buy a terracotta pot and a gift to box, we are thinking about the person that we are gonna world this far. Um, we talked about the app, terracotta world app, working on that. Uh, we're just gonna release, like we're doing these videos, um, we're just gonna release them here on the island. Uh, as, you know, just like take them and use them. Uh, it'll have a smiley face control. You can control the speed of the pot. It'll have a um, reversing switch. And over here will be a color palette. That's why we have the color palette here. You don't need to plug it in because it's an app. And you press on that, you pick your color and the size of your, um, your brush um, and from there what happens is we have uh, you get to whirl like say you were, you say you were whirling Barcelona you would pick the colors and you would put them where you want um, now can that be for practice when you whirl a terracotta pot sure like start like delving into different colors and whatnot um, of course, with the color palette, like on anything you do on any uh, thing that has anything to do with color, like everybody's familiar with the little color palette. Um, and you can make different colors uh, by joining the uh, graph on the color chart uh, on the app. So you get to you get a feeling of the different colorations and if you want a deeper blue or less blue, say you're doing a whole blue pot and you wanted to sequence different color blues properly, open up the app and you could use it for that. You can share, you could screenshot it and make a beautiful um, um, screen display. You know, there's just all kinds of beautiful things you could do. Barcelona is looking beautiful. We got this blue on, nice and heavy. Can you see the bottom of this pot? Yeah. A little concerned you couldn't see it. You can see the bottom of the pot. You know, we have the same size brush, right? And we're taking this and we're just putting the paint on. Um, are we trying on purpose to be very particular? No, because you'd see me there like this, right? And did I say that because I screwed up? Yeah talking to you, so I miss world. Uh, now the correction pattern is really hectic. Really hectic. I'm gonna speed up the world a little bit because the pressure down the bottom is causing it to, we might have some splatter. Make sure there's nobody 300 feet down from the tower that we're on in Rincon, Puerto Rico. Uh, on this video, I'm not using headphones because I think you're close enough. Um, I'll let you hear nature, lets me hear nature. Um, trucks driving by, stuff like that. So I thought, I think we had a good recovery on that. And I just feel like taking this brush and laying it in there nice and hard and doing the whirl. Just getting some more blue on there, baby. Um, can you put too much blue on at once? Yeah, what happens is it starts to spread apart. And when it starts to spread, um, it looks good and stuff, but you're kind of like doing nothing. You just like get your brush going against wet paint. So definitely in between coats, I would recommend Depended on the atmosphere, the atmosphere, right? Um, relative humidity and everything. I would recommend whirling for um, 
as long as the heck you want. So we get some blue, let's take a look at it. There's some blue and yellow of the flag. That's looking pretty. Very pretty. And um, well, we got some uh, we have some over here. Right here, I don't know if you can see it. We have the paint. And I forgot to check the pot because I was all excited that uh, I got to do another TV show. Um, so I don't know if those are drops or they're some uh, agitation on the terracotta. I don't know that. Oh, last night, right? So I was just like steaming around after we went uh, to have some mafungo. Um, I think it was called barbecue, which means Puerto Rican people, I guess. Barbecue, barbecue. We went to the barbecue, had mafungo. It's I had mafungo with skirt steak. It was delish. The wife had um, mafungo with something else. I don't think we got it, because um, some, for some reason I'm a little hesitant to get into that. So let's just keep that in there for the profile. And I think we had enough time to get some red in there. Okay, so again, we'll use the same brush uh, as we're washing it off here. I'll read a little bit, and we can watch this whirl. I'll stand out of the way. Look at the background, it's beautiful. Look at the trees, look at the breeze. Joe Niagro, that's me. Barcelonetta. Barcelonetta. Oh, Netta. Barcelonetta was the last town officially founded by the Spanish in 1881. It is a rich cultural heritage with places like Central Cultural de Barcelonetta, Barcelonetta offering insights into the town's history, including uh, Chano artifacts. The town also boasts several beautiful beaches, such as Creolis, such as Creolis in Las Palamitas, perfect for a day of relaxation by the sea. Footage of Puerto Rico premium outlets. Premium outlets? Ah. Oh. Joe Niagro. I need to whirl some red paint on this. Um, this is kind of like a cool thing. Uh, Barcelona is also famous for its Puerto Rico premium outlets, a major shopping destination with over 40 stores offering a wide range of products. It's a popular spot for both locals and tourists. Images of Cano, Turburios, wetlands, and Cabalachi State Forest, Joe Niagro. Nature lovers will appreciate the Cano Turbonis. Nature lovers will appreciate the Cano Turbonis wetlands in the nearby Cabalachi State Forest. These areas are perfect for exploring Puerto Rico's natural beauty and biodiversity. Screen scene transitions back to Joe painting. All right, where were we that we are? Uh, we're back. I'm back, hey, I'm back. This is Joe Nigro painting the flag of Barcelona, trying to follow the script. So, a little something, something Chat GPT and I kind of discussed. 
So I was just doing a lot of jibber jabbering. And I was leaving some information about the different municipalities of Puerto Rico in the description. Uh, but then the popularization of descriptions on YouTube is not as uh, pronounced as it should be, in my opinion. A lot of good links. Uh, when I have the chat, write my descriptions. Um, I also um, allow it the links, um, whether it be Wikipedia or anything else. I'll probably put the script if we have enough. Um, if we have enough um, space, we could put up to five thousand characters. Uh, in the description. So if we have enough space, I will take and uh, copy and paste this uh, description or the uh, whatever I'm doing, this acting thing, script, script thing. And then you could uh, follow along and with the transcripts, see what was supposed to happen, see what actually happened. And then maybe like in the future, I'll get better at it and you can see these beautiful things, right? Or uh, perhaps you know, in the mobile unit, we'll be able to get there, you know? Look at what happened here, right? Can everybody see that? We have blue, yellow, and red. And it causes this beautiful orange up here, the red and the yellow. Um, these side of the dominant pots intrigue me because they always look like a sunset to me, especially if I whirl them with the right colors. This is coming out beautiful. This is my traditional uh, dominant, non-dominant side look. Um, so we're not going to put a lot more paint on that. Um, let's take a look at that flag and see how representative we are with the actual flag itself. Um, grab, uh, all right, let's see how representative we are with the flag. And if we have to make any adjustments. So we have our flag here, right? This is uh, Barcelona by Joe Nigro. Painted on a terracotta pot. We're gonna tune this up and get back to you. Um, what we'll probably do is a, a live and uh, pop into the lives. If you, if you set your notifications up, what I do is I just pop in live whenever I feel like doing manual labor in front of people. Uh, the last one I mounted terracotta pots onto the pot, pot assembly kit. Oh, the pot assembly kit pack. Pot assembly kit, yeah. The PAK is the pack. The pot assembly kit was on our last live. And it showed how we take the base unit with the smiley face control, uh, the power supply, the on off on button, which is a reversing switch. And it shows that the base unit, the pot assembly kit, and the terracotta pot work hand in hand. Uh, and that's what is in its entirety the terracotta world. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Barcelona. Stay tuned for our next video where we explore another unique municipality of Puerto Rico. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Terracotta World trademark for more colorful adventures. End scene, Terracotta World logo, and subscribe button. That pops up. Right? And the sources we got this information from, because ChatGPT 4.0 starts to source, which is good, because it's not just scatterbrain AI anymore, it's sourcing. They probably learned that from Microsoft. Today's like the 14th and Apple made a deal with ChatGPT. Welcome to Puerto Rico is one of the sources. Q, which is the same place we went to eat, up on 429 or 419, whatever is a popular road out here. Baku, Baku, Baku means Puerto Rican, proud Puerto Rican or something. Online and Discover Puerto Rico. Discover Puerto Rico is very, very resourceful. Um, all these are good. Again, I'm Joe Nigro at Terracotta World.
This has been a municipality painting on a terracotta pot, and it is called <laughs> Barcelona. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. What's up? You still filming? Okay. Need a red light or something, obviously.